Okay, we are live with today's Animal Crossing stream. Um, bit of a later one, but you know, that's what happens when, you know, my work, you know, actually a relatively normal person shift because I worked 9 o'clock to 5.30 today, which is like, you know, it's like a normal job. Not a, you know, retail job. But, um, I am live now, so we'll see how long it actually stream goes for, as I am kind of really exhausted, but want to still get this done and all that jazz, so I'm going to do my best to get through all the regular Animal Crossing stuff I like to get through in a normal stream and yeah but yeah welcome on in everyone how are y'all doing this fine friday start of the weekend for many people not for me i still have to work tomorrow although luckily only a four hour shift and thank you for that host the astropath as always that is very much appreciated um yeah The Astropath, he's currently playing um, Chibi Robo, which is a GameCube game where you're this little robot, like, when I say little robot, I mean, like, little robot, um, that gets purchased by this family to, you know, clean up around the house and such, and you also are trying, and you end up trying to, like, help solve all sorts of issues of, you know, the family also like the toys and other and pets and all sorts of stuff. It's not a game I'd like to play myself one of these days. I, I, I don't have it. I've never actually played it. I think I played a demo of it once. But it's a, definitely something I would love to play eventually. But yeah, let's get started with some Animal Crossing here. Uh, audio might need to be played with. Eight oh one September sixth, twenty nineteen. Try and Because I was I, um, before stream had started. When I was first setting up, when I was setting up for stream, um, the, the game was way louder than it should have been. So I like turned it way down. And I realized why it was way louder because I hadn't plugged in my headphones yet. Because like, I have a splitter, which then has the audio going both to the capture card and to my headphones. And as soon as I plug my headphones, it goes a lot quieter. So then I turn it back. No, it's still... Let's see here. I think it should get back to the normal volume. You let me know in chat if I need to turn it up or down or anything. Um, it should be at a decent volume. Try a little bite. What are we trying to bite? Uh, uh, am a knight? Am I a knight? Uh, dinosaur track. Well, that tracks. HRA Nook. Let's see. Oh, Gruff, we have somebody new. Okay. Well, let's do our normal stuff like we do. Homemaker looks alright. It is raining today, so that's a thing. Money rock. Check if there's some fish down here within reach. Um, 
Didn't see anything. Any? Hey, Molar Duck. Shoot for seven hours. We usually end up with six. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How's it going? How are you doing? Oh, there is the fish. I was hiding behind the tree. I think I usually, well, I mean, the exact number varies, but frequently I'm only getting like five hours of sleep. Freshwater goby. Okay. Crucian carp. It is crucial that we catch the Crucian carp. And we did, so let's go. Works out everything according to plan. Let's see, what do we got in the dump today? Stage show paper. Okay. Do we have a stage show paper or is that new? Doesn't sound familiar, but my memory being what it is, I might just be forgetting. Okay. How's it going, Nook? Got a few things to sell to you. Excellent, and I've got... Aximan, thank you for that raid. Welcome on in. Um. Yeah. Aximan uh, is another Animal Crossing streamer. Um. And yeah, I checked out his stream just the once, I think, but he's been here a couple times, and uh, that's not how I do a shout out. <laughs> shout out, excellent. And yeah, you should definitely check out uh, his stream. Oh, playing City Folk, interesting. Yeah. I was, and thank you for that. Uh, Follow Mistaken Axis. Very much appreciated. So how is City Folk? I've not actually played City... I, I, I've only played, um... Well, this one and Pocket Camp. But... How is City Folk treating you? Okay. Butterfly. Butterfly paper? Do we have that one already? Let's see my catalog. Ah, I don't collectibles or close it on on GameCube. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay, 59, so we didn't get any new stationery though. No. We already had everything we got today. Um, other things. I do need to check turnip prices. 103 bells per turnip. City Folk is great. Oh. Do you ever do that where you're holding B to make the text go faster? And then you accidentally press B again and, you know, instead of selecting the option you want. City Folk is great. It was your first AC years and years ago. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> so often, <laughs> yeah. Good to know I'm not the only one. <laughs> okay, that I'm actually gonna use for, but get for storage, so I'll buy that one after everything else. No, so I don't actually sell it back. Okay. 
this desk green with envy. Ooh, a phonograph. Fancy. Hey, Ryan, thank you for that follow. Very much appreciated. Romo... I, I, I can't pronounce plant names. How's it going? How are you doing? How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's been having a good Friday. A Jersey barrier. Is like so it's, it's like a barrier to keep Jersey out, or is that, is that, is that what works? Just to uh, believe here. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got now. Fancy carpet. How fancy are we talking here? Well, that's reasonably fancy. Plant army, yep. That is correct. Nice, nice. It's a good, uh... It's a good team. No worries, Axeman. Um, food is important. Uh, got eat, you got eat. Thanks again for the raid, and uh, have a good one. So I apologize to anyone if I seem at all out of it today. Um, I am somewhat on the tired side. So, we're gonna see how long I'm able to go today. Well, I mean, no, not like how long I'm able to go in that, like... Ooh, this one looks new. What's this one called again? Huh? Like, we're, we're gonna see if like I'm able to go for my normal... AC is treating me good. <laughs> yeah. No worries. Yeah. Yeah, normally I don't stream this Well, mm, on Saturday I'll, I stream this late. I usually don't... But, oh. Yeah. Usually don't start uh, this late. But with my work schedule, you know... So I, I, I work, you know, part-time job with a variable schedule, and normally I work early shifts, but, like, today was a bit of a later one. Nice, nice. How's that going for ya? Okay. Ooh, flame shirt. I just noticed that at the end. There, so then we're actually gonna switch to that as... I'm gonna switch over to the flint. Well, I actually meant to still go in order, but whatever. We'll, we'll jump ahead to it. Okay. Mm. 
Good. Your second time is where you breed all your flowers. I'm trying to get purple and blue. It's getting hard. Okay. I, I, I haven't played New Leaf. I know flower breeding is a thing in there, but I don't... I haven't played the game, so I don't know really how it works. But I wish you all the luck. There we go. That's a big improvement. I love the posture, but the... The, um... Flame shirt is my one of my favorites. Not my favorite. Um, my favorite one that isn't like a Nintendo like theme thing, like the Big Bro and Little Bro shirt or the GameCube shirt. It's a lot of combos to memorize. Ah, yeah. Memorization is not my strong suit. Okay. Sorry, no, sorry, sorry guys. I just accidentally pressed up on the control stick. Uh, I guess I already, I already got the, uh, I already checked, uh, what you call it. Turn off prices. Okay. So now we go out. Searching for things like the money rock. Glowing spot. Chat with everyone at least a bit. Hey, have I been in your house before, Punchy? I don't think so. Uh, oh, yeah, Sahara. But tomorrow that she was coming? Uh, my town name is Trantor. Um, I don't know if you recognize that name or not. Uh, well, it's technically it's named for a planet from stuff that I've written, but within the stuff I've written, um, it's named for, um, a planet from the Foundation novels. So, yeah. I I'm not sure if you're at all familiar with the Foundation novels, or Isaac Asimov who wrote them. Science fiction book series. Read them a lot as a kid. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm a big fan of them. I also more recently read, um... iRobot. Heard of Asimov through your dad, but that's it. Ah, oh, yeah. I also love how, like, Asimov... Because he, he... Like... His robot series and his, like, um... Foundation series were his two biggest series, and he eventually connected them, as well as his one other series, Empire, into all, like, the same universe. Just, they're separated by, like, thousands or tens of thousands of years or whatever. But, they're all connected. And I, I like that. Like the robot series more, yeah. Yeah, the robot series is really interesting. I really like, um... I, I, I just like, because it's like, okay, he's like, because Asimov was kind of annoyed by all of, like, these robots go evil stories. So he decided, so he came up with three laws for robotics. And then he spent every story he made figuring out all the loopholes and ways of work, ways that think problems could happen even with the three laws of robotics. Did someone work with Star Trek? Not that I'm, I can, I know of off the top of my head, but it's entirely possible. Uh, do you know any details or? It's 
So I would be very interested in hearing about that. Gonna lurk and... Okay, have fun. Yeah, wish your mom a happy birthday, enjoy your lurk, and... Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, that's one of the main season art sci-fi, yeah. And generally I prefer softer sci-fi, but um, I do like the occasional hard sci-fi like Asimov. Actually, Asimov is probably the only hard sci-fi writer I've read. Unless I'm forgetting something or someone. He's involved in the motion picture. Okay, okay. I could definitely see that. I'll have to look into that because I'm curious about the details. Uh, did some letters telling him not to make Star Trek V? <laughs> That's amusing. Uh, Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. Ooh. Long spot. Free money in the ground. Hey, Zedball, welcome in. Thank you for the host. How's it going? Okay, what do we got here? Yeah. Any goings on? Yeah, Sahara when? Uh, September 7th, so tomorrow. Okay, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. One lost item. Well, let's, let's check it out. Yeah, Booker. Booker, what, 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 what do you offer me, Booker? Carpet. Imperial tile. Of course that's mine. Come on. Look me in the eye and tell me. Do what I lie to you? Okay. But we don't see any fo- there we go, there's a fossil. It's like, I didn't think we had seen a fossil yet today. Oh, well, I mean, we haven't. We may have passed one, but we definitely didn't see it, because I haven't, you know, grabbed any yet. Are you ready for dinner and such? Okay, enjoy your dinner. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one. Having fun, that's awesome. Or are you asking me if I'm having fun? Fish, it got away. But that's okay. Sometimes fish get away. Me? Yeah, I am, yes, having fun, yes. I generally am one streaming. Uh, okay. Can't, can't have fun, your hard, laptop hard drive's dead. Ooh, that sucks. Surely there's still other there's still other things you can do for fun though. Cake time. Cake is fun. Wish I had cake. Okay. 
have an Xbox. Nice, nice. It's Oreo. Oh. That sounds so good. Uh, I don't know if we're catching this fish here. Spend too much time. Could this be our missing fossil? Or one of our missing fossils? That one is definitely blocked from view. If we're lucky. We just found one of the fossils we've been missing for a couple days here. We're not lucky. It, that was just the, one of the new ones for today, but you know, hope springs eternal. Hey, we've got a fish. Dace? Yes, Dace is wild. Getting pretty decent at identifying more and more of the fish in this game. There's also a lot I can do mix up though. the fish right in the center. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Excellent. Turn around more, face the thing. Come on. Just need to turn a little bit. Got it. Right? Got it. See? I know how to... Contrary to popular opinion, I do know how to fish. Okay. Not always very good at it, but I know how. Then, you know, I'll do a lot of things I'm not very good at. Fossils already. Things are looking good in the neighborhood. Hey, Dog Punchy, we talked to Tangy, yes. Let us talk to Peaches. Well, you know, this and that, and every which way. Well, well, I mean, if you tell me what book, maybe. If you didn't tell me what book, you just said it was, you know, this book. That's the area for Louie losing a saker. There's our fish of the acre. Louis is not in right now, though. Not in. He's actually out. Okay, um... Any fish in the sea? In theory, there's plenty of fish in the sea, but... I don't see anything there. Oh, is there something right here? By the river. And it got away. What a shame. Too bad, so sad. Don't be mad. on that fish. Oh, 
Well, I messed up. I only got six bags of money. Which, weirdly enough, is exactly how much inventory space I had. That's rather unfortunate. That means we're not even up to 20,000. Okay, so we got the glowing spot and the money rock already. Uh... And quite a few base, a bass. Did see that weed? Just trying to be hot, sneaky. Nope. Scared away that fish. Also, that fish looked like it was a bit of a bigger one. I may have scared away a Qualicom. It's rather unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. Is what it is. Isn't what it isn't. And if in fact it will be, and it ever was. I, lo I love seeing that message. Everything is perfect. Trantor is a very livable place. I love that so much. Louis! How's it going? I was, yeah. You would make a good businessman, Louie. You should, you should get into business. First order of business, selling me your little bro's shirt. I'll pay top bell for it. I say top dollar, but I'm like, oh wait. Currency in this world is bells, not dollars. Okay, I wonder what the conversion rate is between bells and dollars. Also, bells and Mushroom Kingdom coins. Although, I mean, it also depends on if it's before or after Toad uh, destroyed the Mushroom Kingdom economy. Uh, hey, Gruff, you're new. I am, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I am sure about who I am. Haven't I? If I'm not who I think I am. But my whole life is a lie. Freya is not in right now. Well, where is Freya? I think Freya is my second favorite villager currently after Louie. Um, Louie mainly just because I wanted his shirt. Excellent. All the trees are growing strong. Yeah, because we decided to switch around the... Originally I had all pear trees up here, and I saw all pear trees to open these four. I was working on orange trees here, and I decided to switch them up, so... <laughs> so it started out with these all being orange trees that I planted here. And it looks like... Though it looks like my two fossils are still missing. 
So the one I found today was not one of the missing ones. A lot of bass. Real bass fishing. Oh, I should also... Right. No. Well, that's a museum ladder. Fruit Ninja! Thank you so much for that sub. That is very much appreciated. Um, thank you so much. We wanted to be writing a letter to Gruff, who's a new person. Um, as a sub, you do get to vote on... Um, get a vote on what you'd like to see in a future sub request Sunday. You can follow that link uh, to see what you can vote for. And there's also... At, on that page is also a link to what you can fill out. Yep, voting. Um, but yeah, thank you. That is very much appreciated. I don't even know what's going on this stream. I've already been got a raid, got two new follows, a new sub. Like, <laughs> I, I, I should stream later more often, maybe, when I'm half asleep. <laughs> Uh, yeah. All the things, yeah, all the things. Anyway, uh, what is it? Oh, yeah, I was writing a letter to Grum. A letter that will confuse him like it confuses everyone. Because these three simple words, welcome to Trantor, are indecipherable to the many villagers that live in this village. Okay, uh, we're gonna grab this one and move it down here so I don't accidentally send it, because now I just accidentally click on the museum. Super Mario 64 has your vote. Awesome, awesome. I will just go mark that down then. Um. Oh. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. Um. There we go. There we go. Um. Third row. Let's see. Fruit Ninja thirteen. Today is September sixth. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. Super Mario 64. Um, and when I do the Super Mario 64 stream, do you want to be tagged on Twitter in the going live tweet? So let's see here. That moves Super Mario 64 up to three votes. Yes, please. Excellent, excellent. Which move Super Mario 64 up to second place? I mean, technically it's tied for first place, but first off, that is the same number of votes. I, you know, go in the order of which got that many votes first. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. That has been updated. Yeah, that way you won't miss it. Exactly. 
Okay. Wait, did I save? Uh, I did save that, okay. Yeah, so close to first. Now back to mailing the mail. Okay. So how's it going today? How are you doing? Okay, that's the last thing I want to mail, right? Correct. Because this one was just an accidental. So now we can move that back up there. So now we got a fossil, we'll just put it in there. Ready made letter. And okay. So now we're going to go and doing well, lurking and watching while you finish cleaning. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, uh, cleaning. Okay. Let's go sell all this stuff we have. Okay, then we're gonna head over to Praetorus. I'll just grab some pears. Uh, I'll grab the ones that I already shook loose earlier, yesterday. Um, we're gonna head over to Praetorus. Let's see. Start with these ones up here because this one that is behind the post office that way I don't accidentally um, forget about that one. I'm going to bring my turnips with me in case they are going to sell because because this is a later stream and I don't want to be out. Um, if also the price is really good, I don't want to have to be doing multiple trips to the same town. I'm already going to both Praetorius and then later Maltori. Okay. Like, clever my roof? Because <laughs> it's green, like your username? I prefer it being red, but um, one of my villagers went and painted it green. And now I've been waiting for uh, red paint to show up in my store. Of course, red paint showed up in um, one of the stores in my other town, but you, but if you're visiting another town, Nick will just say that he doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, offer painting roofs for um, people in other towns. I think actually the paint at looks here in Trantor today is actually green, so it's like might be a different shade of green, I'm not sure, but it's green, so it's like, oh I can't actually change it today. Uh, but you know it is what it is. And I mean it's just you know it's it's it, it's it's a roof color, it's not like the end of the world. Is it? Check the uh, signs of the apocalypse if uh, green roof is one of them. Okay. 
Rolls are over. Like, we've gone through all of the different things you can say, I'm pretty sure, at this point. So many times. So, so many times. Oh, it's raining for Taurus as well. What was that? Which day was that earlier this week? Where it was raining in all three of my towns and in real life all at the same time. It's like, really? Okay. So we're looking for the glowing spot and the money rock. What do we have in the dump today? Elegant paper? A kitty shirt, okay. I'll grab that when I have, you know, free inventory room. First, check turnip prices. Ooh, no, no. Not selling traps here. Like, even if I was selling traps today, it would be not to this nook, nook and Trantor is paying much more. I'm number 23! The best I'll ever be, number 23. Four ball shirt. I have four balls. Okay. And. An airy shirt. Sure, it's not an. Eric shirt? Eh? Eh? It's in the game, I'm not even Eric. I'm, my character in the game is Rick. Okay. A blue bookcase. Why is it blue? Can we try cheering it up? Does it just don't have enough um, books in it? We can always get more books. Tea set. I don't know, tea sets are okay, I'd prefer, like, a, a, an S set, W set, I don't know, glow clock, glow clock, um, yeah, I, I, got, I, I got no pun for that. Kitchy clock, um, nothing. Okay. Look at that, I'm selling Form an H in my inventory. No, no. Let me talk to you, meant to select the wallpaper there. Lattice wall. Lattice, late ice. The ice is late. Groovy wall. Yeah, very groovy. I, I dig it. Lettuce wall. That works too. I mean, the best lettuce pun is, um, let us remain calm. Uh, ranch paper. I don't, I don't know if, like, ranch flavor paper is really gonna catch on here. Yeah.
See, I work in produce at a grocery store. So... I spend, you know, all day dealing with vegetables and occasionally fruits. Mostly vegetables. The part, part that I want are mostly vegetables, but... Um, occasionally I have a sh shift where I'm, you know, put over on the fruit side. So, I definitely come up with uh, puns related to them. Definitely have a few, yeah. Um, let us turn up the beats. Why do some melons have such elaborate weddings? Because they can't elope. Uh, let's see, what else do I got? Um, those are the, the, the ones that immediately come to mind. My brain also isn't entirely here at the moment, but... Nice. Okay. Enjoy your lurk and your cleaning. I mean, if you enjoy cleaning. If you don't, then, you know, hopefully it gets done quickly. We got all... We got seven bags there, so that's excellent. Seven bags of money is what I like to see. That puts us up to almost 30,000. We still need the glowing spot, so that'll put us another thousand closer. Oh, we still also need to get the, um... I am staring somewhere on the one of the two acres, that's right. I need to actually be checking for that. Stereo, but you know, it's still something we can sell. Out of the two acres, briefly. So much quicker once. Let's see, we're back in the two acre, yeah. Once we get the. Uh, okay, now we're out of the two acres. Now we'll be out of it until we cross the river. So much quicker once we get the money rock, because then we're just like running through instead of having to check it. Stop and check every rock, because that's what really, you know, slows us down. Um... Okay. 
Ooh, it's almost nine o'clock already. Uh, looking forward to the Star Wars RPG stream tomorrow. And Al will cross them afterwards. But well, tomorrow's Saturday, so that means KK Slider. So we're gonna see it about getting a chunk of songs from him. In theory, we could get 12 songs from him. Between the fact that we have, um... Well, we have four characters. Okay, that's tomorrow. Just here are both towns. Four characters, three towns, and you can get a song for each character from each town. And four times three is twelve, because that's just, you know, basic math. Look your eye on the item, it's fine. Yeah, that's my paper. Definitely my paper. Okay. Looking for the glowing spot. If you were a glowing spot, where would you be? You'd be somewhere where you could be shiny. Shiny is the shiny does. And shiny does as shiny is. And I don't know what I'm singing here. But, aha! Found it. So now we okay, we check along the shoreline for Gulliver. Check the two acres for the high end stereo. Okay, don't see it below the cliff. Taker. Doesn't look like it's in this acre. This could be it. Just a gyroid. It could. Oh, wait. That's fossil. We don't want fossils from here. Okay, it could still be up here on the this side of the river. Because the river I didn't actually mean to, even mean to press the button there. I was readjusting my hand on the controller so I could better feel if, like, for the rumble. Hmm. 
Well. Do not see this high in stereo anywhere. It's possible. It's behind something. Also possible. That I'm just. Missing it or something, whatever. We're not gonna spend any more time on it. Would have been cool to find, but ultimately, we don't want to be going too late for a variety of reasons. Sell some of the stuff to Nook. I just realized I forgot to grab the stuff out of the, um... Out of the, um... Dump as well. Okay. Above 30,000, which is excellent. One twenty-five. Yeah, I definitely should have grabbed that before I came in here, because 125 is kind of underwhelming, or if it was part of the other one, it would have been, like, it would have been fine. Okay, now we're going to head back to Trantor, and then going to head out to Maltork. Saving town data. What would town lore? Trantor stuff and our Pretora stuff, and now we need, well, our main Trantor stuff and then our Pretora stuff. So now we do Meltor stuff and then do our finishing Trantor stuff. I forgot to grab fruit to sell. Oh well. That's fine. Everything is okay. What else am I forget? I feel like I'm forgetting something else though. But I can't think of what it might be. It's probably not important, but yeah. Okay, go store these leaf tick or raffle tickets. 
And then... What, I wonder what my plan is going to be with these. Two length ones, because... Kind of got to be pull, I mean, I'll figure something out. Okay. Save and continue before I switch to memory cards, just to be on the safe side. So I could save and quit. Okay, whatever. I'll switch memory cards now. <sighs> the reason I normally take my headphones off. I get up even for something like just checking the uh, changing memory card or whatever. It's very easy for them to get caught on stuff when you're walking even just like a few feet. Okay, um... So do anyone move? Okay. Actually, yeah, I might just realize I need, um, I want to grab pairs first before heading out. That's... No, I was going to say that's the final set, but no, there's still four random pairs. There we go. Because <laughs> I only grabbed eight, not nine. I was wondering why how, why the numbers didn't line up, but that makes sense. That makes sense now. Okay, let us go to Meltork 4. And then... Apologies, um, let's see now, so we're gonna do our basic stuff in Meltork, um, oh, we gotta draw blank space again. Oh, and I remember what I wanted to do this time. Yeah. 
Yep. Hey, Blanca. We have... <laughs> uh, I think you can all get figure out what I'm doing here. Playing a game of X and O with myself. I mean, I can't quite complete it. But no. That's fine. in general um, my friend uh, piece of Hannah also streams Animal Crossing um, I should give her a shout out if you want to go check out she, she only streams Animal Crossing like once a week I think yeah and streams other stuff as well or whatever but um, what which playing Animal Crossing this past week uh, she was making, like, just a design for, like, you know, shirts and such, whatever. Well, she was making a design that was one of her emotes, or based on one of her emotes. And when she put it on as clothing, on the hat, it, because she's like, yeah, yeah, on the hat it looked really messed up. <laughs> she has a female character or whatever, so it's like, so the cone hat thing or whatever, and really mess up on there. Okay. Wait, whose turn is it right now? Nexus, yes. <laughs> I just did O. Um...
having hair instead of horns. Ah, uh, yeah. So, no winner. It's rather unsurprising. Because as long as you know what you're doing in this game, it's, you know, pretty easy to... Or you can guarantee that the other person can't win. And so I'm playing against myself, so I know exactly what I'm doing. Honestly, it looks really good, because, like, even with, like... Yeah, that actually looks pretty decent. I like how that turned out. Okay, um... It's actually, it's not raining here. I'm actually not a big fan of the sound of rain. Um, so I actually, like, just coming here and it's not raining, I'm still tired, but I'm actually, I, I'm, because as, as tired as I was, I was even more tired in the other two towns today where it's raining for whatever reason. That sound of rain actually makes me more tired. Okay. Oh, that's terrible. Not selling you my turnips. Not at all. Ooh, a berry umbrella. It is a berry umbrella. Yeah. I have game audio. Um, basically, I have uh, a splitter from the composite audio, so the so that it goes from the splitter to both the capture card and to my headphones. Because I also then have an adapter for um, composite audio to um, headphone jack. Problem with that is that it doesn't, I don't have actual um, volume control for my headphones as a result. It's like it's just straight, you know, it just, you know, it's straight audio. Which is why you see them hanging from my ears rather than in my ears. Because they are too, uh, because it's too loud for me to actually have headphones actually in my ears. Okay. 59, we're still at 59. 59 stationary. One of, the, one of these days, I know I keep saying this, but one of these days I will actually go and uh, make a list of the stationery I actually need so I can keep track of it. Yeah. Apparently I'll get such a... exactly, yeah. Uh, Well, 
what I want to eventually do is get a, um... Is get something I can connect to my TV that can have a uh, headphone. Oh, because I do like, because like I have like a headphone extend extender or whatever that I'm using as well that connects to, so that I have my headphones connected all the way over there on the other. Well, I mean, plus it's only a few feet away, but. But yeah, so I want to eventually get something that I can actually just um, connect to my TV so I actually can have volume control for myself. Plus, also, this is also this is only an um, something I can do with composite audio when I'm playing uh, stuff that's like HDMI. It doesn't wouldn't work for that. Now, currently, the only system I play, all right, yeah, or I stream through the HDMI cable is my Wii U. So with that, I just plug the headphones into the gamepad because the Wii U gamepad has the uh, has the uh, headphone jack on it. So I just do that. That works quite. That works just fine. But. I eventually get a switch, or oh, and you know, I eventually I'm able to. S I want to eventually start streaming, like say PS3. I I do have a PS3. I can't actually stream HDMI on it though, because the PS3 there's something with the signal where you just can't straight capture it without having something else that you run it through first. So. That's a thing. So I could stream my PS3 through composite, but uh, yeah. But I, I don't really want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing you need, like, you, what you need to like run the PS. Three um, HDMI signal through. Like it's not an expensive thing. It's like a like ten twenty dollar thing you need or whatever. That'll I think I think. Don't quote me on that. No, um, I might I be, might be misremembering, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's not something too expensive. It's just it's, it's, so it's less about the money and more about just the I haven't cut around. To it. Actually, wait. I or well. I just all about the money, just because I do I do have to be very careful with my spending. Do I actually have it? Let's see here. Um, yeah, it is like a yeah, it's a twenty dollar thing. According to my future purchases list here, so yeah, that's not even that expensive. Okay. Hey, Recon! Thank you for that sub. Very much appreciated. Uh... I mean, you know the drill about, uh, the, uh, sub-voting stuff by now, so. But yeah, thanks for resubbing. How, how are you doing today? How's your day going? Okay, where was I? Imperial Wall. Um... Don't look now where you come, but the Imperials are here. Privacy can't complain. True enough, true enough. Stream is going good. Um, I'm like half dead because, you know, it's 9.30 for me, which is like...
which for me is late. Um, but. but yeah, doing good, doing good. Uh, must actually sell this stuff. Can't hit anything. I mean, you're not wrong. Hey, hey it's a Captain America shirt. I am always ready for tomorrow. What's tomorrow? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I know what tomorrow is. It's Saturday, aka Star Wars Day. Dice shirt. You should use your points. That's not a bad idea. Certainly not a bad idea. Don't know what to put them in. I mean, what a lot of players do will be like, it's like, oh, what was stuff that we needed during this session, this last session that we didn't have? Okay, put points into that. Other players will have, like, you know, um, specific plans, like, oh, I want to be working on this, or I want to be working on that. Um, yeah. I know, not, not in this Star Wars RPG, it was in the, um, Fantasy light one where I was playing a while ago. As you play Star Wars RPG, I remember with my character, I actually had like kind of what was it? Three things I'd be working on because like I had like so I had my character that I created, but with the like starting points you have for character creation of that, I wasn't able to quite get the character like I didn't have the skills that quite fit the backstory. So then I was like, I was like, okay, well, because of the character, what the character's been doing recently, they're a bit out of practice on this and this, so, so they're not as good, but I want to, like, you know, put skill points into those to, you know, get them back, to get them up to that. But then I also wanted, oh, to work my character to be working on medical stuff just because no one in our party had medical stuff. Uh, oh, no worries, no worries. Um, I understand the... Like, when I'm in streams, I'm in and out all the time as well. I'm always doing, like, 50 different things. And... Just trying to make it work. Okay. Now let's see if we can find the money rock, glowing spot, and you know, stop by the police station, check the lost and found. And I think that's. Oh, I guess check like the off chance Gulliver's in it. Uh. Yeah, dodge is a good thing. That is definitely true. Medicine. Those are both just general good options. Blasters, yeah, another general good option. Um. Astrogation is a good option.
I mean, there's a lot of good options. Don't like raising skills unless you can raise by 1D. Interesting. That's interesting. Why is that? Any, is there a reason for that or just like, you know... Or is that just, you know, just the way you are? Excellent, a hundred bells. Another hundred bells, I didn't actually mean to make that hole though. Do any of your attributes have a plus on it? I don't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> okay. caught bell cricket before. Four out of six have pluses. Oh, yeah. Well, I think... One time when I was looking up something related to the game, I found something that that it's one of the later, like, expansions or something. They do add rules that allow you to upgrade. Sorry, that allow you to upgrade attributes. As soon as I got the money right, I just wanted to make sure I actually got the seven bags. Um, so that, so I'm in full concentration mode there. But yeah, that allow you to upgrade attributes, so... If I eventually, you know, start collecting more of the books and such. You know, it may be possible. But, okay. Found the long spot as well already, and the money rock, so. Just gonna go down to the beach then. Let's check for Gulliver. He's on his travels. Yeah. I don't want to be including rules though from books I don't have though, so like, so it'd only be if I actually got later books and that they actually do have that, and we'd actually be incorporating it in. Because I know also that, because I also don't, cause it's possible that this is from like the actual later, because there were like three versions of the game. There was like first edition, which is well, we're using, then there was a second edition, and then, like, second edition advanced, or something. Second edition something. So if it was, like, one of the other editions, then it would be, like, then obviously, then it wouldn't really necessarily come into play, because the rules might be different enough there that it wouldn't. What was the cost of raising the attributes? I don't remember. I want to say it was something like... 10 times the cost of raising a skill, but I can't remember for certain. Uh, Wendell on the... 11, okay. Okay. 
then we'll go sell this bell cricket. Plus one. Uh, yeah, that will be correct. Because the thing is, that also would raise if there if you have any skills under it that aren't upgraded, it raises them. Plus, like, um, you know, anything else that would just be that straight, like, uh, roll or whatever. Or, like, because, like, how many skills are there under each thing? Like, I mean, it varies, but, like, strength has five, um, knowledge has eight. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then there's perception, which would be the big one, because perception... Oh, no, perception and strength would be the big ones to upgrade, because of the fact that those are ones that you regularly make just the base attribute roll. Upgrading strength means, you know, you're better defense against attacks, and perception, you know, more likely to notice stuff. B. Yes, I'm leaving. I did only just get here, but you know. It's getting late. Because I did everything I intended to do here in town. Now back home. This pineapple crush is really good. I see you, like, three or four times a day, usually. You gotta stop being weirded out by the fact that we constantly meet when it's happening so often. It's, it's just a fact of life at this point. Fact of life. You know what else is a fact of life? I don't know.
No, Louie moved. Oh well. I wasn't gonna give us his shirt anyway. Okay, combine those. Drop the two here. And then also drop the turnips here. Here we build up two there, so then walking them off the two wide thing works out quite nicely. Um, but yeah, they are gonna have issues though. I'll work that out though. That's not a, that's not that's future Eric's problem. Okay. Um, yeah, future Eric and past Eric have had a long-running feud, for various reasons. I meant to say yes. So then we're gonna just pay off a small portion of our debt, just 1,859. Um. No, not even. I, I, need, I have no stationery on me. What kind of stationery are you selling today? Orange. Noodle. Cheesy superheroes. Okay. Now will pay off a bit of debt. And that's where we're going to call it. What are we going to call? It's a very good question. Who are we going to call? The Ghostbusters. Any other questions? No? Excellent. Just a bit. Excellent. Well, that's it for today, Phyllis. Thank you for your assistance. Oh. Okay. So yeah, I will be back tomorrow. 5 p.m. Central Daylight Time with the Star Wars RPG and more Animal Crossing afterwards. And then on Sunday I'm going to be doing a 12-hour 
marathon stream starting at 8 p.m. Central Daily Time. Go, go, so, yeah, starting at 8 a.m. going to 8 p.m. Starting with Animal Crossing and then we're switching over to Mega Man games for the rest of the stream. We are going to go raid somebody now, so um, if you want to join me for that, that would be awesome. Obviously, you don't have to if you don't want to. But it's always nice to go spread the love around and, you know, meet new people if, you know, we're raiding somebody you don't already know. Not, not somebody I don't already know. I, 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 I don't feel comfortable raiding somebody I don't already know because for various reasons, but... Yeah, let's see. Who do we want to raid? Could raid someone playing Minecraft. Um, Pokemon Crystal. Final Fantasy fourteen. Super Mario Maker 2. Yeah, I think we're gonna raid one of those people. If anybody has a preference amongst those games, just let me know. Good stuff, Fruit Ninja, good stuff. If you a preference amongst those games, let me know. Otherwise, I will choose myself. Streamer pick. Okay. I think we're going to go and raid um, one of my Plant Army teammates, Tolstois, who's playing Pokemon Crystal. Um, yeah. On the raid. Copy and paste the raid message that is in chat. Gonna be headed over there and yeah like I said we'll be back tomorrow 5 p.m. Central Daylight Time with the Star Wars RPG. Um, don't think there's anything else to say but yeah thanks everyone for coming out. If you watched, lurked, chatted, followed, subbed, Rated, hosted, any of that. It's all appreciated. Um, and yeah, thanks everyone for coming out, and uh, bye.